999. Which service do you require? I need an ambulance for my son. Connecting you now. Ambulance service, what is the address of your emergency? 48 Stanford Road, Streatham. What's the phone number you're calling from, please? 0208 671 3322. How old is your son? 20. What's the emergency? Tell me exactly what's happened. I don't know. There's something going on in his mind. He's talking about going on top of the roof. Is he conscious? Yes. Is he breathing? Yes. Has he been violent at all? God, no. It's no. Does he have a weapon? Oh, good, no. John's not like that. Look, I'm just a bit worried about him. He's acting a bit strange. He's talking about the MI5 training him and he hasn't been sleeping well for the last week. Has he done anything to harm himself? No. Is he thinking about committing suicide? I don't know. He's just been acting really strange. And I, and I think he might leave the house. He's pacing around the room. Is he completely alert? Yes. Look, he's just pacing around the room. I don't know what's wrong with him. Can you please get someone here quickly? OK, do you want me to speak to John? No, I don't think I've come to the phone. No problem. Let John know we're organising the help for him now, OK? And please stay on the line and I'll tell you exactly what to do, all right? Mm, if it's safe okay, to do okay. so, stay with him and protect him from doing any harm to himself. And let the ambulance crew know of any medication that he takes and what doctor he's registered with. Yes. Are you going to come here quickly? If anything changes, please call us back immediately at 999 for further Thank instructions, you. OK? 48, yeah? Yeah, that too. <clears throat> oh. It's hard, isn't it? Yeah. Oh, please. Please. Who is it, Mum? Hello. 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 I'm Craig, what's your name? John. John, how you doing, John? I'm here with Mum, we just... We what's just... your mum's name? Mary. Mary, hi Mary. Mother Mary, and yeah. Yeah, everything's fine. Do you, do you, do you want your mum to tell me what's going on, or? Why, why, why have you called us? This is not him. Right, okay. I don't know what's going on. Okay. So, have you got any medical conditions at all? Do you take any medications or not got any conditions or take anything? No. And John, what's going on? Are you, are, you, are you hearing voices or...? It's just, um... I'm doing a project and I'm, someone's talked to me and he's helping me. Have you, you on the phone at the moment or...? Or... you got your earphones no, in? No, I don't have no. a phone, no, no. It's, just, it's just... OK. Is it right if Emma just does a few checks on you? Yeah, why yeah. not? Of course. Yeah. Yeah. Just, do, just do a couple of things like your blood, blood sugar and... Yeah, 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 blood sugar. Yeah, just going to pop a little probe on your finger and... That's fine. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so, so what's been going on today? What about a big bag? Yeah. <laughs> big bags, you know, go travelling, walking, like, hills and camping. Oh, it's not this kind of bag, that isn't. I'd be a rucksack, I'd have all my camping stuff in. So what's been going on today with you, John? Um. Uh, just a bit, a bit weak, mm. I'm tired. I haven't really been sleeping. I've been trying to focus on my project, and it, it's, it's it's demanding. Okay, so really what? demanding, really demanding. Did you mind um, about this project? And, uh, what is no, this project is from university. Um, my teacher set me lectures, and I've got to create an airflow. What, what university did you go to then? Um, Newcastle, Newcastle's up north. Yeah. Um, Newcastle's near Manchester, yeah. near Leeds, near Scotland. And, and how come you're not there at the moment? You're just going to take a little drop of blood from your finger, yeah, all right? It's a little Is that all right? Yeah? Yeah, yeah. Happy yeah. with that? Yeah, just, no, it's just going to hurt a little bit. And we're just going to take Oh, I'm blood. strong. It won't hurt. <laughs> so how come you're not at uni at the moment then, today? Um, it's the half term, so, so I'm allowed to come back. For... Sorry, Sorry. hurts a little bit. OK, so... So you've got this. Uh, I've got to do this project. No, shouldn't wasn't that before? Haven't you? You meant to be back by now. No, I could basically I could go and come back, go and come back when I like I because it's my project. So, um, so, so what year in university are you in? I'm in my second year. 
um, second year of university. Mm. And it's three years, one, two, some second yeah, year. Yeah, yeah. Is that right, Mum? Yeah, it's in his second year. He is, yeah, okay. But and he seemed to be fine. And it's just recently this has started to happen. Right, okay. Come on. It's great. Uh, so what's, I mean, fly. what's going on at the moment, John? And, you got it. Mm-hmm. It's 5.2. 5.2, mm-hmm. cool. John? John? You all right? What's going on? So, what's your name? Craig. I'm Craig. From, from the ambulance service member, yeah? Yes. Yeah. Hi, Craig. So, um, your mum's a bit worried about... You're very anxious, aren't you? I've been up all night, slept for three hours, trying to really get it good. Mm. I need to get good grades, otherwise I can't make it to the third yeah, year. OK. You said you haven't been sleeping well. Yeah, Just that, how long has that been going on for then? I'd say about three weeks. Yeah? This week's two and a half weeks. This has been all right, two and a half weeks. Two and a half weeks, because yeah, okay. I remember it was a... I remember the day, and mm. I've been counting it every day since. But you've noticed you haven't been sleeping yourself. Yeah, but that's my choice. Right. I, I could go to sleep if I wanted to, but I'm just too active. I've got a lot to do. Yeah. And I like to eat food. I like to play football. Yes. Have you, do you eat, with, with your food, do you have a balanced diet? or? Yeah, a lot of bread, sandwiches. Um, I like KFC. Everyone likes a mom, bit of chicken. Mum's disagreeing. Yeah, it's not, you've not been eating that brilliantly, have you? What about, what about drinks? Do you... Fanta, much, Coke. Much alcohol? Any alcohol? No. No. What about energy drinks and stuff like that? Red Bull keeps, keeps me active. Did I like a Red lot Bull. of it. Probably two bottles a day. Okay. So not too bad. Um, I no. should have stopped bleeding by now, so pop that off. That should be fine. Might 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 give you a little tiny bruise. And do you take any 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 other kind of drugs at all? Now, um, when your mum rang us, she said about um, you, you were thinking about going up on the roof or something like that? Yeah, because it's for my project. I've got to create this amazing airflow and then I could just fly off and it's for a helicopter and it's really, really constructive and it will get me a really good job and I want to do really well and mm. be able to support myself. And So so it wasn't, you, you were just going up on your roof for this project that you, it wasn't anything, um, you know, you weren't going to do anything dangerous up there or anything like that? John? Slim. John? Yeah. You're right. You still with me? Yeah, yeah. Um, X, Y. It's it's quite complicated, but mm. okay. It links all together because when you got X and Y equals Z, and then my maths teacher used to tell me that formula, and then that mm. formula can really help you with lots of different situations, yeah, and yeah, yeah. it's really great. Yeah. Okay, I, I I think I think we're probably going to need to to get you to um to come and talk to somebody. Cause I think I think you're having trouble kind of, you know, doing your normal I think that's a really good idea, moment. don't you, John? You should go Why and not? have a conversation Why with not? Them. Yeah. So I think, I think we're probably going to have to pop you down the hospital. I think, I think there's a few things going on at the moment. Are you going to come with me? Of course I'm coming with you. Yeah, we, yeah. we could go. All right, then. You ready to come out, then? Get your bits together? Some stuff. No, yeah. no, no, I want to stay here. We, we, we just need to go and have a chat with, with someone no, in the hospital, John. I want to stay here. Um, I'm, I'm comfortable here. Okay. Yeah. Thank John, you. John, you know, your mum's going to come with, with you. To go to the, no. All we're going to do is just go to the ambulance and we're going to have a drive. No, and, sit in it and, that, and it's going to make lots of noises. Oh, no, I don't like that idea. I want to stay here. I feel really warm and comfortable here. I don't want to go outside. Oh, I really right. would like you to go with them, John. I'm coming with you, really, you too. You I think really Mary, really. Mum, Mum, I'm staying here. I'm okay. I'm okay. Oh, I'm you. okay. John, <coughs> John, you're really worrying your mum. Yes. It make it'd make her feel better if if you just just came and had a quick chat with somebody. We've spoken. I know you've had a quick chat with me, but you need to you need to speak to someone who's a little bit more specialist at a hospital. It's fine. Don't worry it's about fine. that. <laughs> Don't you want to speak to someone so they can understand this project that you're on? John, listen to me. There's somebody, there's somebody I know at the hospital who knows about this project. Yeah. Yeah, so if you come and talk to him about it, I think he'll be able to Ex- help you. He can, yeah, he could come here and he can help me. Yeah. Let's go there, John. We, okay. I think it'd be a really good idea. Okay, let's, well, let's, let's go. go, let's go Let's then. go. Come on then, John. All right, let's go. Let's, let's go right now, though. All right. Come on, John, let's go. I'm going to get your coat on the way down. Let's go. <laughs> 
just come around there. Have a seat. Have a seat in the ambulance. Just leave that. Just, leave just, it. Just, just, just come have a seat in the ambulance. You have a seat there. Just have a seat on this one, yeah. That's it, John. You sit there. You go and sit down the book. Okay. All right, John. Just need to just need to do your blood pressure, John. So if you just want to slip this arm out of your jacket for me. This arm out your jacket, that's it. Lovely. Just pop that round your arm. That's it. Alright, just relax your arm down there and it's just gonna get tight on there, alright? And just do a bit of paperwork. <laughs> Hello. Really glad to see you, I'm Mary. Well, nice to meet you. John? You must be John's mum. Hiya. Nice to meet you. Hi there, John. I understand things have been um, quite difficult for you recently. Yes, it has been. John, the doctor's it's... talking to you. And it's a big building, lots of people around me. John, I un understand that you've had some trouble, some trouble sleeping mm -hmm. and also some trouble with, uh, with your appetite. Yeah. So what I'd like to do, if that's all right, is just, I'd like to rule out a physical cause for any problems you, you might have been experiencing recently, if that's okay. Yes. Great. And um, personally, what I'd like to do is I'd like to take some blood from you, John, yeah? Just to see that everything's all right. And also, I'd like to take a trace of your heart. And I'd also like to briefly examine you, just by talking to you. You know when, and the other day, when I was trying to do my project, and, and then, um, Okay. Okay. I got did a bit you hear tired. What the said? Did you hear what he said? He wants to just do some stuff on you. Is that okay? Is that okay? Okay. Great. Thanks a lot, John. Yeah. I'm just going to. Uh... I've seen that pink folder. Has it got pictures of <laughs> when I was younger? <laughs> it hasn't got pictures of when younger. It's it's got it's got your medical notes actually, John. So it's just going back I'm a little fine. bit. I'm fine. I just want to. I just want to. Go to like to the gym and do weights again I'm and sure feel do, strong <laughs> and I've got a project to do because I'm at university in Newcastle but I'm just back John, on half term John. and wait and I'm back on half term so um, it's helicopters and airflow and I've just got to create it's really mad him. Yeah, I mean hopefully you'll be back soon John. Great that's John. Right. I'm just gonna ask you a few questions so, if that's alright with you. Yeah? Okay. So first of all I'd like to know, um, have you had any headaches recently? John, have you, have you experienced any headaches? Has your head been hurt no. at all? No, okay. Have you noticed any visual disturbances? Have you noticed problems with your eyesight, seeing funny things, or...? Have you got my sunglasses, Mum? Okay, did you hear the doctor ask if you've had anything wrong with your eyes? Have you had anything...? No? No. Okay. And just in terms of weakness, have you felt weak at all recently, John? Weak in your muscles? Have you noticed anything? He trains a lot, so I don't think so. You don't think so? Yeah. Okay. And John, I'd just, like, I'd just like to know whether you've had any problems um, with chest pain recently? Has that been a problem with your, with your heart? Or... No, no. Um, any feeling of your heart beating or racing quite fast? Okay, John, can you listen to the doctor, babe? John, John, you're doing really well. I know I'm asking a lot of questions here. Have you had any experience of your, your heart racing or we're feeling quite just I watch on Sundays on Sundays me and my mum sometimes at 12 o'clock we'll watch a Formula One and we'll see Lewis Hamilton and he's racing he's really fast in his fast Mercedes car and I really like it because they go faster I wanted to be a driver but I couldn't be a driver so I looked at helicopters and then I got an airplane and it went round and round and round and round and round so that's why I, I come to the conclusion that X had Y equals Z because it's maths okay, <laughs> okay John and in terms of tummy pain have you noticed any, any pain in your tummy at all? No. No, no, okay. And are, are you passing uh, urine okay at the moment? Have you noticed anything different passing urine at the moment? No. No, okay. And how about passing poo? Is that, is, is that all right? <laughs> <laughs> no. No, no, okay, great. Um, I apologise my hands are a bit cold, but I'm just going to um, examine you, if that's all right. Have you got enough space? Um, I, I, I should be all right, thank you very much. First of all, would you like to, um, would you like to put your hands up for me, please? I'm putting your hands. Try and put your hands up for me, thank you. <laughs> yeah. 
thank you. Okay, just put this. And, and Johnny, if you'd just like to look over to your left for me very briefly, please. And I'm just going to place my fingers just under your eyelids. I'm just going to, if you'd like to open them slightly, John. It won't hurt, I promise. <laughs> Great, that's perfect. And if you'd just like to open your mouth to me very briefly. Ah! <laughs> I'm just going to <coughs> just feel this, it might feel a little oh. cold. That's great. What are you doing? Okay. Just, I'm just listening no, to your no, heart. No, no, I, I used to do this when I was younger, I had one of these plastic tubes and I used to play games. Like, what are you doing? It's something similar. I'm fine, no. It's something similar, Dr. Bennett. Bennett. Yeah. Any questions for me? Yeah, what does that mean, what you've done so far? So I'm just, just giving him a brief physical check, just to make sure there's um, not anything wrong with him sort of physically. So that we're gonna, I'm going to follow this up with blood tests and a tracing of his heart. Um, and then one of the other doctors is going to come oh, and talk like to him. Oh, that's like a math test, an English yeah. test, and a science test, is that and right? a blood test as well. It's yeah. probably pee when you fall over and you hurt your knee and you've you got to get plaster and then that's where the blood comes from and it's like a blood test. <laughs> I've seen similar episodes before. Thanks a lot, John. I'm just going to um, pass, pass my colleague over to come and speak to you if that's all right, yeah? That's been great. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. John. Hi, John. Nice to meet you. My name's Ruth. I'm a psychiatry doctor here at the hospital. And you must be John's mum. Mary. Mary. Nice to meet you. Mother Hi. Mary. I see. Okay. John. Um, my colleague Ben, um, the a &E doctor that you just met, has asked me to have a chat with you. Would that be all right? I understand that you've been having quite a stressful few days. Yes, yes, he has a mm. very stressful week. Mm. This last week's been really bad. Mm. And I got some of the story about what's been happening. Um, John, are you hearing someone speak to you? What's happening at the minute? Who's speaking to you? X. Yes. Who, who is X? I'm not telling you. Hmm. Why don't you want to tell me? Remember you told me who it is, John. Why don't you tell her who it was? Shh. He thinks it's the MI5 that's um, <coughs> communicating with it. They're following him, and they're giving instructions. So he's told you about this, Mary? Yeah. They're trading him, apparently. Okay. Together. Got a witness. John? Win the game. John, sorry, the sorry to interrupt Olympics, you, John. Running fast. Tell me what X is saying to you at the minute. John. And then... John. It's just getting progressively worse. And then... Okay, so it's happening a lot of the time. Then, John, I heard you mention the word project. What's the project about? Project University. But it's not a university project, is it, John? Me and X project. Yeah, but it's not a university project, is it? <clears throat> okay, so what is the project about, John? I need to create an airflow. X is helping me, and yeah. Go round and round and be successful. Mm. Yeah. So X is telling you how to do this project and what to do. Is that right? Okay. Does X ever tell you anything that um, causes you to be afraid? Yeah. And what yeah. does What does X tell you? Stuff. Does X ever tell you to harm anybody? Yeah. 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 Okay. Uh, did you hear the question, John? Yeah. Does X ask you to hurt anybody? I can't tell you. Well, that's not his personality. No. He wouldn't do that. No, so you don't think that he would act on anything? If... Oh, I don't know anymore. I don't know. I don't know. And John, has X ever told you to hurt yourself or to harm yourself in any way? I can't tell you nothing. I can't tell you nothing. Can I tell you a bit about what I know about the story? 
Um, I heard, John, that you were on the roof or trying to... I was on the roof. Mm. And X helps me, tells me to do all these things and, you know... What's I'm he losing, telling you to I'm, do? I just get a bit like... John, what is he telling you to do? A bit frantic and, John. you know, but... John, John. What was he telling you to do on the roof, John? John, what did he tell you to do on the roof? <laughs> jump. <laughs> to jump from the roof. Air fly. Fly. John, that, that seems <laughs> a bit dangerous to throw yourself off the roof. Do you not think that fly. that would have fly. consequences? Like a bird. What's the time? OK. Can I explain what I think might be going on with yes, John? Yes, please. Um, it seems to me that he's talking, as you said, about MI5 and about X. Um, he seems to be holding some unusual beliefs about his involvement with the project. He's described some risky behaviour. What I think will need to happen, I think John must come into hospital okay. um, for a period of assessment so we can find out what's going on and what's causing um, these symptoms. So we just come in in the daytime. We just stay overnight. Mum, let's go home. I'm not going nowhere. Let's go home. We're going to. No, I'm going home. He's just finished talking to me. He's told me I've got to go home. He needs me. I'm not going nowhere. Okay, John, it's all right. Settle down. I'm just telling your mum what um, what the plan is going to be. I think time. You need, I need to go. I think you need to come into hospital, John, so that we can check what's causing these unusual beliefs. Um, so what I'm going to do now, I'm going to try to organise what's called a Mental Health Act assessment. Um, I'm going to ask two of my senior psychiatry colleagues to come and have a um, chat with John, as well as um, an approved social worker, um, and decide whether John needs to come into hospital um, as a detained patient under section. Okay. Um, but that's what the Mental Health Act will assessment will um, figure they out. They speak to him. That's what they yeah. will work out. Yeah. So when 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 he comes in, I will be able to come in every day and oh, sit with him. Oh, absolutely. Yeah. Okay. Okay. So I'll go and arrange that now. Yep. Yeah. And I'll come back and have a chat with you if you've got any more questions. Okay. Thank All you. All right. Thank you very Thank much. You. I'm not going nowhere. I've got to finish this project with X. John. John. I'm not going nowhere. John, this is going to make you feel better.